What's up friends, it's Volt Firecar. Welcome to my anime list. Now, I think you know what an anime list is, but if not, it's just a website where you can post all the animes you've watched at the time, which is like January 10th or something, I've watched 83 animes, including movies and OVAs. So I'm going to uh, go from bottom to top and tell you why they're rated that low. So let's just get started. I'm not going to do this all inside of one video. I'll probably do about 10 every single video. Let's get started. All right, so my lowest score is a 2 for uh, L Sword or L Sword. It, uh, well, it, it, it just sucks. It's, uh, it's uh, an anime based on a game that I tried to download my, on my computer. It didn't work, and I wasted a long time just watching this. I spent like an entire night watching this anime, and it really wasn't that good, and I didn't enjoy it. So that's the only reason why it's really low. And yeah, I wouldn't advise watching this one. I don't think many people have watched it though. All right, the next one is uh, Pupa or Pupa. Um, I think this one is very artsy and interesting, but um, you guys have probably seen this instead of anime compilations. It's the one where the uh, sister eats the brother. It's really weird. All the episodes are around like three minutes long. And uh, I didn't really enjoy it that much. So I'm not going to give it a too, too, too big of a rating. All right. So next we have uh, How Not to Summon a Demon Lord. Um, in some of my younger years, I really liked this show. But uh, now I just don't really like it that much. I think the uh, lewdness is the only thing that's keeping it somewhat interesting. But without that, it uh, really falls off the map for me. So that's why it has a 4. But now we're inside the uh, large level of 4s. Let me click off of this because I'm inside of a thing right now. Okay, there we go. Now we can continue. Okay, so the next one is going to be... Uh, Henki Shoujo, Shoujo, um, I don't really remember this one. It's a very quick show. Again, the episodes are only like a minute long. It's basically about these anime girls who are robots. You, again, have probably seen this one inside of anime compilations. It's the one where the uh, young girl drinks gasoline. It's really strange. I did not enjoy it that much. I kind of just watched it so I could put it on this list. All right, uh, the next one, which is now getting inside of animes that I found okay we got one room one room was uh it's basically a point of view anime so you're inside the first person and these anime girls are talking to you and it's it was a little creepy for me so that's why i i didn't really like it that much but you know if you're into that go ahead there there is a season two and i think i'm gonna watch it pretty soon but it's uh it's weird it's kind of like I don't even know. Like, the anime girls are nice, though. Okay, next we have, um... Guns Zero. I don't know. It's, uh, basically an anime movie, as you can see over there with the movie. Uh, it's, uh... Strange. I'm pretty sure it's, uh... Based after an anime. But I haven't watched the anime, and I only watched, uh, the movie on Netflix, like, a year and a half ago. Didn't really like it that much. It was really violent. But it looked really good. Like, it had good CG, but I... I can't really get behind the story. It was really weird. But, yeah. Alright, next we have a, a weird one. Number 77. It's... I'm I'm not gonna try and pronounce it, but pretty much it's a... And here you thought gamer girls didn't exist or something. I think that's the translation. Or, do gamer girls exist? I don't know. It's basically about this, uh, this anime girl over here. Who uh, can't distinguish real life from a video game. And um, a lot of these I watched on my tablet a couple years back because I didn't know about Crunchyroll or Kiss Anime or anything. So I just kind of watched them on YouTube and most of the time they were dubbed. Yeah. So some of these um, are a little old, but you know, I guess they were fine. Okay, next we have a pretty recent one that I watched um, Recon or Raycon! Exclamation point. It, um, it was really boring. It had an interesting premise. A girl that can, like, talk to ghosts or yokais. I don't know. No, ghosts. But, uh, other than the premise, 
or of the first like three episodes, it was painfully boring. Like I, I just wasn't interested inside of it. And what's funny is I actually um clicked random on Crunchyroll and got this anime right after ReZero. So I got ReZero and then Recon, and I did not like it. Okay, um, the next one on the list, which I'm surprised I gave a four, but you know, I guess, is the uh, the Pokemon movie um, 18, aka the one with Hoopa. <sighs> I really didn't like it that much. Like, I'm a fan of Pokemon, kind of, but the this particular one was really, eh, I don't like it that much. I wasn't a big fan of the uh, of the movies at that time, so maybe that's why I didn't like it. I just didn't really get behind it. I haven't watched many Pokemon movies, but this one was pretty low on the list. Okay, the next one, um, number 74, is uh, the infamous one, SAO. I gave this one a 4, meaning it's uh, a... Meaning is not good. It's uh, it's okay. I think it is extremely overrated, and that kind of adds to why I don't like it, because there are a lot of people on the internet with Kirito or Ozuna pictures just tracing me down. It's really kind of weird. I didn't like it that much. Um, the game itself, Sword Art Online, um, I would not want to play it. I've watched quite a bit of people diss on it, so maybe that's why I don't like it. But, you know, who knows. All right, the next one is one that I watched on my computer again. It is a uh, Mock and Key. I cannot tell you at all about this anime. I'm pretty sure it's about to do superpowers. All I remember is it has a lot of fan service, and I'm pretty sure some some uncensored biddies. So if you're into that, go ahead. But it was really uh, doo doo in my opinion. I don't like it. Okay, next one. Uh, I'm I'm going down. Uh, Infinite Stratos. Uh, and I like it. It was fine. Like, mechs. It was the first mech anime I watched. I haven't really watched many. But, uh, it didn't really focus on the mechs. It focused more on the, uh, well, on the waifus. And, uh, I didn't really like any of the, any of the waifus, except the, uh, one with the eye patch. Where is she? I think on the left. Uh, I'm pretty sure her name's, like, Laura Balwick or something. I don't know. It was, it was pretty bad, but you know, I watched it when I was young. It was about two years ago when I watched it, and I remember watching this on my tablet and uh, helping my parents sand the house. Yeah, that was weird. Okay, um, the next one is um, another name that I'm not going to try and pronounce, but um, it's a uh, name that I know is uh, Cat Planet Cuties. It is uh, again really boring, in my opinion. Maybe some people like it. Um, before I continue with uh, Cat Plant Cuties, yeah, if you guys think uh, I'm being uh, a little brutal inside of some of these or a little too nice inside of some of these reviews, um, please, uh, inside the comments below, tell me why I should like this one or maybe I should rewatch it with a different viewpoint. But uh, yeah, at the current time, I do not like Cat Plant Cuties that much. I found it eh, not in my style. Something that I'm surprised. Um, got this high of a score is a uh, kiss excess which um is uh borderline hentai it's uh really lewd there's no like um uncensored bits but it's very uh very lewd it's it's basically about this dude who uh has two sisters i'm pretty sure they're twins or something and i'm pretty sure they're stepsisters maybe they're just normal sisters i don't know and he uh kisses them and uh licks chocolate off of them and stuff it's weird it's pretty much just incest um it's fine i guess yeah i wouldn't advise watching this unless you are really into uh uh young sisters or actually older sisters in this case i think okay next we have uh, our f number 69 aka our first five rank which is uh, that time I got reincarnated as a slime. Uh, actually, should I continue? Yeah, I'll go to like 65 or something maybe. I don't know. Okay, so uh, slime. Uh, I watched it. It was fine. Um, I'm really not a fan of the whole isekai thing unless it's really funny or really good. You'll see that later inside of my uh, higher rankings. But uh, this specific one, 
It was good at the beginning because he kept getting friends and stuff, but then it kind of just got really, really boring in my opinion. I don't, I don't like it. A lot of these little ones are kind of just, um, they had a really strong start, but then they got really boring. Okay. Uh, the next one, Goblin Slayer. Now, uh, Goblin Slayer, um, in my opinion, is fine. The story is eh, not that good. Um, the characters are okay. Um, it's pretty good looking, I guess. But the thing that sells this is, uh, is the violence. Violence is the biggest part about Goblin Slayer. It's, uh, it, it's brutal, guys. If, if you want to watch this, good luck. Your, your eyes are gonna bleed a little bit. It is crazy. Um, I never watched anything like it, so I am surprised. Very surprised my eyes are still inside of their sockets. But it's fine. Okay, next we're going to uh, move on to the next one, which is The Rise of the Shield Hero. Now, what's funny about The Rise of the Shield Hero is I think if it was just the first half of the anime, I'd give it like a decent 7 or maybe even an 8, because the beginning is really cool. He's like getting all these people, kind of just like slime. Uh, Raftalia, she's really cute as a lolly, and she's like, you know, I don't know, really adorable and you need a protector and stuff but then it just gets really i don't know really weird i'm not a fan of it um i think if they uh kept more just on one side like they stayed more true to the first half or if they just made the entire anime the second half uh yeah kept it consistent i think um i would have liked it a lot more it's just the abrupt change between the cute anime protecting level up thing that's really cool inside of isekais to the uh weird overpowered church evil thing i don't know uh next one uh a centaur's life now a centaur's life is a uh, a weird one it's uh basically it just has a gimmick it's schoolgirls who are demi creatures like a centaur a succubus and a goat person i know they have a real classification but you know who knows um it was fine i'm not gonna g give too much on it because i kind of just watched it and uh and then put it down and didn't really think much about it but yeah i don't know i think it deserves a five maybe more but at the moment i didn't really find much enjoyment in watching it all right, my arm's getting a little tired, but um, I think I'm actually gonna go a little bit farther than before. I think we'll stop at, um, I think we'll stop at 55. I, I know I keep lowering it, but uh, we're gonna we're, we're gonna keep going because I really want to make this uh, video at least somewhat interesting. Okay, let's get started um, or continue. The uh, next one is Pokemon XYZ. It was fine. Um, like I like Pokemon. It's fine. I kind of just liked it because it was like one of the first animes I watched with my brother. So that was fun. But you know, who knows. I think it is over to five. Um, the next one is this. Uh, basically, I'm pretty sure the translation of this long title is what if there was a world that like had strict regulations on being sexual or something. I don't know. It's basically about um, like... Uh, pretty much like a Nazi camp Not really, but they're treating people like uh, They can't do certain things. So it's a normal world But there's a certain thing that they can't do and that is like look at uh, lewd pictures or do anything sexual That's part of the law now and as you can see inside the picture a lady got underwear on his head her head So basically she's starting a revolution. It's pretty lewd. They're like I don't know weird scenes like licking and stuff i don't know okay next we have a uh, tokyo ghoul square root a or i don't know tokyo ghoul is fine like eh. i think the second one or is this the second season i guess it's the second season again i watched this on my tablet so um i don't really know how the seasons were structured but it, eh, i like the first one better that's why it's a little bit higher Actually, this isn't ordered. Yeah, well, there is no, like, 5.5 .5 or 5, like, just, yeah. There's no halves or anything. So, uh, they're in the same spot, but if I had to pick one, Tokyo Ghoul would be 
uh, a little bit higher. Tokyo Ghoul does not deserve a six, but you know, I think it's fine. Um, I advise watching it because it's like you know, it's it's pretty normy, but if you want to uh, be one with the normies, uh, go ahead. Okay. Uh, High School DD. I eh, most of you probably know what this is. It's demons got big boobs. They're naked. It's really hard to find it. Um, if you want to watch it, go on a kiss anime dot ru or something and uh you can get it uncensored because uh that's the good stuff that's all i can say about it it's okay it's uh an etchy anime and it has kind of a story but pretty much it's good because it uh it got big bitties okay um seven daily sins i haven't watched the second season or the third season or the fourth season if there's a fourth season i only watched the first one it was fine I don't really know much about it maybe it's better but um at the moment i'm gonna give it a five you guys are probably gonna hate me for that because i i know it's a really good series just at the moment the first series didn't leave me too awestruck so maybe i'll watch the second season and i'll think that uh the first season's better okay tokyo ghoul i already said it's okay uh pokemon xy yeah i like it kind of just like the other one um it's it, it it's pokemon it's fine uh, Pokemon with Genesect, it's Pokemon movie, it's better than the Hoopa one. High School DxD and High School DxD New, the two other seasons, these are the exact same rank as the other High School DxD, it's just this thing orders them weird for some reason. These would all be together, I think they're all fine. I know I have a, I think there's High School DxD, like, there's a fourth season, but I haven't watched it yet because I'm not really too into the story, I guess. It's fine. I like them. Again, boobs, demons. If you're into that, you'll like this. And the final one for this video is uh, Plastic Nason. It's funny. There are a lot of cool jokes inside of it. Uh, some good anime memes. I advise watching it. Um, the entire thing yeah, is uh, 12 episodes, but they're only like a couple minutes long. So I'm pretty sure it'll only take you about 30 minutes, 45 minutes to watch the whole thing. I just watched it bootlegged on YouTube, so... If you want to watch it, uh, be sure to look it up. It's uh, quite funny, and it has some good memes. But uh, that's going to wrap it up for this. I have uh, a lot more. I'm not going to scroll up for any spoilers, but uh, um, yeah, I think this will be like a two, three, four-part series. But if you're looking forward to it, uh, please subscribe, like the video, uh, and keep on look out for my videos. Thanks for watching.